you're responsible for marketing a mobile app, understanding and using the Facebook SDK is a must. Simply put, this is what allows you to integrate Facebook tracking abilities within your mobile app, which will help you improve your Facebook ads and increase app downloads, leading to higher conversion rates on your mobile app with Tapcart. In this lesson, we'll introduce you to Facebook SDK and show you how to set up this integration in the Tapcart dashboard. So let's start with the basics. SDK stands for Software Development Kit. And with the Facebook SDK, any website or app can integrate with Facebook seamlessly. This allows you to track specific data based on user behavior in the app. And all of this data can be used to enhance the performance of your Facebook ads. That, which can in turn lead to more high converting traffic in your app. And if you've worked with the Facebook Pixel before, this won't feel like uncharted territory. Much like the Facebook Pixel, you can use the Facebook SDK to do things like retargeting, tracking conversions, retention, revenue, and average order volume at high level. You can dive even further into event streams as well, including app installs, app launches, content views, add to cart, initiated checkout, purchases, session end, just to name a few. Well, a lot. So let me show you how to connect this integration with Tapcart. The Facebook SDK integration is available to all Tapcart customers who have a Facebook developer account. If you don't have a developer account with Facebook, you can easily create one with Meta for developers. Quick note, your iOS and Android apps will need to be published to complete the integration setup. If you're published and ready to go, we'll jump right in. And I'll break all of this down into two parts. First, we'll create and add a Facebook ad ID to our Tapcart dashboard. And then we'll invite Tapcart to our Facebook account. So first, head over to Meta for Developers and log in with a Facebook account. Select Get Started or My Apps. Or if this is your first time setting up a Facebook SDK account, you will need to select Developer and Complete Registration. On the next screen, select Create App. OK, next you will need to select the app type. The preferred option is None, but if that option is not available, select Consumer. Enter the app display name and update the contact email address if needed. Note that you can connect your Facebook business account if it is tied to your personal account, but this is optional. Then select Create App, and this will automatically generate an app ID for your app. Copy the app ID found under your app name, and in a new window, visit the Tapcart dashboard and select the Integrations tab, click Facebook, Paste the app ID into the specified field. Then you will need to navigate back to settings, click on advanced, scroll down to security, and copy the client token. Paste this value in the specified field within your dashboard. Select save and enable, and there you go. Now for part two. This is a little more simple. Within your Facebook developers account, Confirm you have the app selected that you want to invite Tapcart to. Click on Roles, click Add Administrator, enter tappy.micart, and select Submit. Now you will head over to Facebook Ads Manager. Grab your authorized Ads Manager account ID, which you can find in the URL. And once completed, confirm with your Tapcart implementation specialist via email that this is all set up. And you're good to go. From there, your implementation specialist will complete the Facebook configuration by adding your Apple ID and Android IDs to your Facebook account. Note that your implementation specialist will only complete this during your onboarding period, which is your pre-app launch. If you have completed onboarding or would prefer to do it yourself, we have an article to walk you through this process in the video notes. And there you go. You now know how to set up the Facebook SDK with Tapcart.